In this video, I'm going to talk about what happens when a healthy log stream deployment goes from this state to this state. For example, the hardware that supports the master node crashed or the directory where the master node was installed was corrupted and a few other scenarios. From a high level point of view, the procedure is fairly straightforward. Every time the master node makes any changes, we have a local um, repository that stores these configurations. And for a fault tolerant uh, use cases, we can leverage a remote repository, for example, on GitHub. And once all the configurations are stored in the remote GitHub, we can then reverse the error and recover and restart a master node and config with all the configurations from the remote repository. And so with that, let's start and talk about the details on how to uh, do this type of recovery. Before we dive in, the two websites that I found to be extremely helpful is the uh, Cribble documentation under version control, which has all the detail, as well as the uh, GitHub documentations around connecting uh, to GitHub with SSH. To start this demo, I have two Linux boxes. The one on the left is with the existing log stream installation. Uh, you can see with IP address 254. And the one on the right is the one that we're going to use to recover the uh, failed log stream. And that ends with a IP address 253. Also for the existing uh, installation, as you expect, I already installed the uh, Git, the local Git as well as if we look at the version that I have here, the local Git is version 1.8.3.1, which is the minimum required version for a lock stream. Looking at the UI, as you expect, we can go in and change um, any of the parameters, okay, let us so we will enable it. Once we save any configurations, we can uh, commit with some comments to the local git and deploy this configuration. All of these are done on the local git repo to start the process of a full tolerant recovery, the very first thing we have to do is to create a GitHub account. And so for this process, I created um, a, an account called Ardagon Cribble. Very creative. Um, also, I created an empty Cribble um, repository, which as you expect is also marked as private. Since we are going to use this repository to keep secrets, uh, keys, and a lot of sensitive information, we definitely want to make sure that this is not a public repo. Make sure that it's uh, secure. For the next step of the process, we are going to run a command called SSH keygen, which will generate both the public and private keys that we're going to use to connect Logstream to GitHub. And once we ran that command, we can go to this directory which is the default uh, directory where the keys are kept. 
and we can see two files. One is the private, and the dot hub is the public key. From there, we take the information from the public key, and we're going to put this key into GitHub. Go to GitHub settings, the SSH a section of the settings, and we're going to enter this key into that location. From here, we're going to go back to Logstream, click on the upper right corner, the settings, distributed settings, and click on the remote. And we are going to enter the information we need to connect to uh, GitHub. So in my case, it's the a git address including the SSH as authentication as well as the information that I copied from um, my private key. And so as we can see, the private key goes to Logstream and the public key goes to GitHub. And from this point, every time that we make a change for example we can disable this route we make a change we will first commit the information locally deploy it the local git and we can at this point push this information to our uh, github account And takes push in progress and it's success. So now the information that was stored in our local um, master node is now available as part of our repository. So if we go to a repository, Cribble, so that we can see the information that came from Logstream. One more nice feature we can enable is the schedule action um, by default you are responsible for uh, committing this information to the uh, to the github account manually however if you wish you can schedule um, the uh, commit and push using the cron job so for example if you want once a day or once an hour to make sure that we synchronize the local git repo with the uh, remote github we can definitely schedule that and uh, one more command we need to run is the ssh key scan the ssh key scan will add the github keys to the file known host the next step of the process, as we prepare for a full tolerant, we are going to do on the backup node that's going to be used as the master node host. First of all, let's uh, install git on this node. Next. Let's make sure we have the right version. Which we do. And we need to copy the private key from our master node that is currently running to the backup node. And we can validate that we have this file uh, locally here, which we do. And let's 
test the connection from this new node to make sure that we can actually access um, on the day of the crash, if there is a crash, uh, we can access our uh, Git repo, which we can. And this is a validation that we are currently ready to um, go in case of um, a crash on this main um, master node. For the next part, I'm going to uh, simulate as if we had a crash on our main log stream site. So let's just shut down log stream. And we can validate that log stream is down. Next, let's start the process to recover from this disastrous uh, crash by going and first let's download a cribble. Once we downloaded Cribble and extracted it, but before we start Logstream, I'm going to CD into the Cribble home. And I'm going to initialize a git by using this command called git init. After that, we're going to add and configure the remote using the git remote add man. Now we're going to set up our local branch to exactly match the remote branch using this command, the git fetch uh, origin, as well as uh, this command called git reset. And finally, and the last command is to confirm that the commit match, we need to run uh, this command, which is git show. And this verifies that we are currently uh, in sync. Also, using ls minus la under the uh, cribble home directory, we can see the git ignore file here that tells um, Logstream which files it should not synchronize with the remote deployment. And the very last thing we need to do is just to start Logstream master. Once Logstream master started on our new Linux box, we can access it. And so let's just change the old IP. Uh, 254 to the new IP, which is 253. Access that. Log in. And we can validate that all of our pipelines, routes that existed in the previous installation is now available to us. To summarize, we started with uh, a healthy master node going to a local repo. The local repo then synchronized its configuration to a remote repository. At that point, we uh, had a failure that took out both the master node as well as of course the local git and at the end we saw the ability to recover and re-initiate a whole new master node based on the information that came from the remote repository and as we said in our case it was on github but uh, you can definitely use your own uh, remote repository